Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Welcome to the 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. We'll be working with Oberlin College students this winter to prepare some amazing videos in math, science, English, and history to help you pass your teacher certification exams. Use these videos to help you in your studies and your preparation. And if you need some extra help, attend a workshop. We're holding workshops throughout the United States, in Massachusetts, in California, in New York, in Florida. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Welcome to the 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're going to be working on number 51 on the 53 Math MTEL. This is a nice intermediate math problem involving linear equations and solving a linear equation uh, just by coming up with a linear equation just by being given a point on that line and its slope. I'll read over the question. We'll go to our Oberlin intern Conti to sort of explore some of the ideas in the problem and then I'll come back and we'll solve the problem together. So let's look at number 51. It says, what is the equation of a line that contains the point p is equal to negative 15, 8, that's my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate, and has a slope of 3 fifths? We're given only a point and its slope, and we're asked to find out the correct equation for it. You'll notice all these equations are written in standard y-intercept form. That's this structure right here. y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Look at the structure here. This is the slope, this is the y-intercept. So very important you see right away that uh, all the answer choices are in y-intercept form. Whenever you're given a point in a slope of a line, and this is, this is a clue that this is going to involve a linear equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, we're going to use something called point-slope form to find out the linear equation in y-intercept form. Point-slope form looks like this. y2 minus y1 is equal to mx, um, m times x2 minus x1. And to get a little better understanding of um, point-slope form and y-intercept form for linear equations, let's cut to our Oberlin intern, Conti, to talk about these two ideas. Take it away, Conti. Hi, Chris. We're going to talk about point-slope form and y-intercept form. Point-slope equations have the form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where m is the slope of the graph of the equation, and x1, y1 is a point on the graph. Y-intercept equations have the form y equals m times x plus b, where m is the slope of the graph of the equation, and b is the y-intercept of the graph. Point-slope form and y-intercept form are actually equivalent. If you have a point and a slope for an equation in point-slope form, and you solve for y, you will get an equation in y-intercept form. That's it for today on point slope form and y intercept form. Back to you, Chris. Thank you so much, Conti. Let's come back and look at this problem and solve it. We're going to take this point and this slope, and we're going to substitute those values into our point slope form and work out the equation in y intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. Let's first, I have my, my equation for um, point slope form. The 8 is my y court, is my y value, the negative 15 is the x. So here, I'm going to substitute these values in. It's going to be y minus 8, and I'm just going to put a, an 8 there, is equal to m, that's my 3 fifths, times x minus a minus 15. That's my value for the uh, x coordinate. All right, I'll, let me simplify this a little bit. This is y minus 8 is equal to, now uh, this would be 3 fifths times x minus a minus 15, that's x plus 15. Let me distribute the 3 fifths here. That would be 3 fifths x. And this one right here, 3 fifths times 15, well I divide by a factor of 5, this becomes a 3, that becomes a 1. 3 times 3 is 9, so I have y minus 8 is equal to 3 fifths x plus 9. 
I'm almost there. See if I'll move this down just, I'll move this over here for a moment. If I, if I add, do that last step, that last algebraic step, and I want you to be doing this too. Taking these points in this slope, putting this into a point slope form, working out the algebra so you can finally get to this last step where you add the 8 to both sides, and you come up with y is equal to 3 fifth x plus 9 plus 8 is 17. And you can be like, hey, this right here, here's my slope, here's the y-intercept, Here's the slope, here's the y-intercept, and you can right away be like A has the same slope and y-intercept. A is the correct linear equation um, for a line that has this point and this slope in it. All right, I just want to show you one more thing. In this, a little shortcut, in this problem we're told that the line, that we're, the equation of the line that we're looking for has a slope of three-fifths. And all these equations here, they're all written in this form, y is equal to mx plus b. They're already in that form. Now you have to remember that the m stands for the slope and the b the y-intercept. Now we're already told that the slope is going to be, the, the equation of the line has a slope of 3 fifths x. So if you, if you kind of already know that already, you're looking at the answer choices. Well, just by observing the answer choices, you could be like, this is the slope of this line, this is the slope of this line, which one has a slope of three-fifths? You should be able to say A does and C does. All that does is helps you eliminate two of the answer choices. It may not get you um, directly to the answer, but it, it really will help you elim by eliminating two of the choices very quickly, like within the first 10 seconds of the question, it's going to greatly increase your chance of getting the correct answer. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham. Thank you so much, Conti, for your help. Everyone have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.